Greetings, everybody. Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 73 of the Blades of Ragnarok. Alright, so terrain is impassable. Here, okay, yep. You can see all the deep water, which is now in red due to the uh, uh, terrain affordance overlay. I have a lot of deep water everywhere. It's very cool. I guess deep water is a wall then. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess so. It, it, it's news to me, like I said. It is news to me, but I suppose that is the case. So we'll work on a little apiary, and then uh, we'll work on an apiary over here. I like how they're wandering together psychotically. One's sad and one's psychotic, and they're both just in the same rough place. There's something, um, strangely cathartic about, uh, being depressive, like, as a group. So this will be, be just, like, wide farm, I guess. So we'll get this built, and then we'll, uh, uh, that's not correct. Like that. We'll get this built, and we'll just plant it wider. I could also plant it taller. Why don't I do that? Why don't I design a w tall, wide farm? I don't really know what the dimensions are going to look like once this is done. It might be really weird and not really work, but I don't know. Well, you voted for the me to try, so... An experiment shall be done. And then I'm, uh, I'm double-walling it here. Uh, for insulation properties. So this will be one large apiary armitery. And then the double doors. And I'll probably end up needing additional heaters to heat the thing. Um, please center the doors. All right, all right. Let's see, what is this? This is seven, this is seven, so doors would be here. And as far as I know, that's all normal soil underneath. There's no stony soil or anything like that, so it'll be a little bit easier to maintain. Well, damn. Uh. Cruzio. You had this coming. You made me redesign my metery, so you went smush. Super smush. Yeah, I was... I was, how, neck, I bet it's neck. Oh my God, it's neck. Stupid neck, stupid, stupid armor. Stupid, stupid armor. Everybody dies like that. Never a decapitation, always a one out of 25 neck injury. Oh, well, uh, all the more reason to find Resmex serum. All the more reason to find Resmex serum. Also, uh, uh, I am so frustrated with everything that this game chooses to be sometimes. <laughs> uh, do I even have a freezer? No, I don't have a freezer. I'm going to have to ship her home. Um, I'm going to... So no one else here can mine, like, really at all. Uh... Oh, hi, Tusk. Bye, Tusk. Um, Sven. I don't know what to do. All right, let's find uh, compacted machinery. <sighs> Vote for scum. No, 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 I'm not going to. I'm not going to save scum. This was just I knew that like. It was a calculated risk that I calculated poorly, you know, removing the roof like that. You'd think you'd move it from outside in, but she removed it the inside out. So it was a it was really an order of operations error, if anything else, right? I could pot over components, but um Sven can mine them up pretty quick. And then Wolu's gonna get this pod launcher built. Uh you know, actually I'll I'll pot it over because I'm gonna need to pot over chem fuel anyway. Um so you guys Oh, 
Okay. Items. I have no chem fuel. Yeah, okay, great. I have no chem fuel. Uh, Itis. We'll get you making chem fuel. All my animals probably could start doing stuff again. So, omnivore hauling, carnivore hauling. They don't need to be locked up the way they are. Yeah, Ripperoo. The very avoidable death that, uh, that little bear Ursa wants to take bite out of. So I gotta be careful about that. Got my eye on my new cannibal. Yeah, welcome to RimWorld. <laughs> yeah, this is, um... Pretty typical RimWorld experience. Death by... Build order stupidity. Is, uh... Is very normal to me. It's rare that I lose people. But it's these stupid Ravager armors that don't have net coverage. Honestly. That's uh, that's exactly the well the why it happened. Okay, so chem fueling done. Thirty five chem fuel might not. I don't know how much chem fuel this is going to use, so let me do two batches and um, send two batches of chem fuel. So what I'm going to do is the the fuel target here is going to be zero, so that I don't use the chem fuel that I have right now to refuel anything. Mod the mod to add net cover. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I'm a little on the fence because. The armor is really, really strong, but with a inherent built-in weakness of a lack of net cover. So I feel like if I modded the mod to include net cover, it would be a form of cheating in a way that is not something I necessarily want to do. So I'm a bit on the fence of like, yeah, it sucks that this armor has no net cover, but it is a it is a, a risk. And and what's crazy to me is I keep taking shots to the neck. Not the eye, not the jaw, not the ears, the neck. Over and over and over again, it is the neck. It is the Achilles heel of this series. Uh, but I, I suspect that the lack of neck armor was by design for balancing reasons, and I just need to level up. I need to get them out of that armor so that they don't keep dying to neck injuries because that is the like third neck injury in a row, I think. Um, I could pull for it. Sure. I mean, sure. I'll, I can leave it up to you guys. I could do that. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't res with dev mode, though. Like, that's something I wouldn't do. There is the, yeah, this sucks, and maybe it shouldn't have gotten me killed, but. What the? That was weird. This is real weird. Um, Okay problem I go to assign a bed and it doesn't know it doesn't is this always the case this seems strange to me it's giving me a full list of everybody that seems strange all right sin this is your bed we have visitors uh yursa or our new person uh, so, Wolu, you're going to lose this bed to... I don't know. Where's Nickel sleeping? Oh, yeah, you're sleeping. You're fine. All right. Colonist left unburied. Uh, do we have the double batch of... Yes, we have plenty of chem fuel. So, let's pod the chem fuel and components over. All the chem fuel. And let's say 20 components. And get that loaded up right now. Uh, 
Uh, here's a bionic leg for Little Bear. She is sleeping right now, so that's a good time to do the installation. Although, she'll probably get up, but she's going to be happy that it's uh, installed anyway. So, Idis, you'll be doing that doctoring. Right, one more batch of chem fuel. And it looks like uh, overwhelmingly you guys kind of agree with me that uh, no is in order. That it would be... Um, it would be making the game a little easier. Alright, now the fuel targets for all these should be full. Alright, Wolu, let's get this built. So, Thor does not decay. And Wolu might be then set off on an adventure to find, um, you know, some additional uh, resources. Namely that of um, serums. I think I also need a miner to come out here. So of all the people back home, we really only have two. Yursa, you're going to be sent to mine for the new colony. You're going to be replacing Thora. Hopefully not having roofs and ceilings fall on your head. One can only hope. All right, Sven, don't even bother trying to mine. You're so bad at it, it's embarrassing. You're embarrassing me. Let's close that pole. No seems to be definitively the answer. All right, we are running a little low on meat here. Uh, I've set up pretty much all the wildlife to be hunted. The game has a uh, sort of a biome minimum. So one of the advantages of hunting everything is you tend to get more animals to respawn. So there's actually a bit of advantage to just keep keep hunting until there's nothing left to hunt. Don't I need to cook too? Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, probably nutrient paste on uh, this little this here little outpost. Yep. And there's going to be a lot of mining. A lot of mining. I'm probably going to uh, have more of the roof falling on my head. Given all the mining they're going to do. Wild boar self-tamed. Oh, cool. Oh, I like how I had set them all up to tame. And then one just self-tames. Uh, like go to the home zone and get slaughtered. Get slaughtered. Okay, so Thora, we are good to send you home. Gotta unforbid you. You're still... You haven't rotted yet, so... Well, do I need to seriously put her in a stockpile? S seems unnecessary. And then we'll, uh, we'll cryptify her. I'm just going to leave that pod launcher there. I'm not going to change it, move it, or anything like that. Guest isn't happy. Well, you're at least alive, so... Very... Could be worse. And then we will get Edith, you are the constructor for this job. Event going. So what's weird is the art is of course for Modred, because Modred was originally buried here, and Thor is obviously not Modred, so it's a little strange, to be sure. Uh there's a lot of terrible moods here. Yep, there goes Edith. Arna's probably next. I really hope that it isn't not like a murder spree. Because it, it could be. The moods are just that bad.
All right, Yursa, let's get you switched tiles. Launching you. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing else. Man, Ari has been psychotically... Oh, pfft, never mind. Wow, two... This time, it wasn't even that you were unhappy. Uh, you just had anesthesia and you got woozy. <laughs> and you forgot where you were. Hey, G-Force, thanks for the sub. Cheers. And Kamasia, thanks for the gift, by the way. And shield as well, out to Wolo. Uh-oh. Wait, what the hell? What? Oh, wow! Okay! I, it, <laughs> so two visitors wandered in. And just like Thunderdome, um, only one can leave. Damn. Damn. All right. I, I know I complain about when my colonists punch toes and fingers and sometimes limbs off, but never straight murder. I have... You bit his leg. Uh, how did you die? Like, like, you're 22 years old. You're a wimp, I guess. I actually don't know how this guy died. I, If you check the logs, it's just like, you chomped his leg and he expired. Um. Okay. That is, um. That's a thing I did not think would happen. Hey, Yursa. Dinner bell. <laughs> Dinner bell. <laughs> Go over, chump chump. That's so dark. You see it happen fairly regularly? I don't see it happen all that regularly. That might just be me. A bit to the artery. Yeah, well, there wasn't enough damage to be like a KO. That's why I'm surprised. Oh man, there is so much cool stuff I can do with this um this base, the way it's laid out. I'm eager. Uh let's stop super hauling. Oops, sorry, Mr. Boar. Well, that was that was a very strange way for a guest to die. At least I'm not at fault. Right? <clears throat> At least I am not at fault. So both of these trees are, I think one's 14 and one's 12. You're no longer confused. Um, oh, that corpse is already, where, where'd you guys put it? Oh, probably in the corpse. Oh yeah, there you are. The logger. Yeah, they, when they get down, they have a chance to straight up die. Yeah, usually they get more injuries than than what we just witnessed. What we witnessed was like the wimpiest wimp get knocked out. All right, so you're going to be set on a void zone so that you don't go buggery boo. Get yourself murdered. Uh, let's also fight to remove roof. And yeah, there's a lot of mining here. In fact, I like might want to import another um, miner to assist because it is a sizable amount of mining that I have queued. Do you spy Tusk in the back? Yeah, she's right here. Hey, puppy. Come here. Look at that puppy. Hey, puppy. She's like a cat sometimes. Hello. 
build pillars to protect from the roof. I intend to. Uh, ruined columns, in fact. So we're going to put a ruined column uh, here. Uh, let's check in on our apiary. Zero progress, I spy. Uh, why? Because Edith is done. Edith's been hunting and wardening. Well, not really wardening. And molybdenum has been growing and hunting. So I'm going to change the priorities around so they actually get some, some apiary done. Guest unhappy. Ravenously hungry. Uh, you know, there's like meals back home. How about you go eat one? It's annoying that I was getting penalized for ravenous hunger when it's like, you just just go have a have a snack. No one's no one's stopping you. Yeah, they had one on their person too. It was just like them being just a pain in my butt. Just a pain in the butt. All right. So the plan for here is with all this deep water to have one hell of a kill box. Um, to have like a spiral, uh, a spiral maze, an amazing maze. And we'll get that started. So essentially when people want to come attack us, um, they're going to have to go all the way around. March the big old death circle. Uh, these meals, eh, they got two days left. Cooling would be good for them, but I've got bigger things to worry about. So how do you like your new home? Low expectations. Yeah, that's right. Plus 18. better than the sky high that we have back here I'm gonna keep the roof off of here until we're done uh, constructing everything so that it doesn't slow us down due to the blocking of the Sun we also have to make sure that we don't here let me break this part down that we don't get stuck in there and another reason why I haven't made a lot of progress is my constructor here, Edith, was uh, psychotic breaking. Now, as you stay away from that Luciferium, I'm watching you. <laughs> What's funny is everything that he's breaking you do, you're a constructor, sort of. Oh, nothing like punching some hay. I've never had the urge when I was mad to punch hay. But then again, I'm not a crazy Viking. All right, why are you starving? We have 50 meals and you've laid in bed. I guess they were psychotically wandering so long they like started to starve to death. That is, uh, that is quite the accomplishment there. All of this, I don't want a roof over. But what I do want to do is to make it easier for um, my tree worshiper to get to and from the tree. So I do have uh, walled paths here. A food binge for Arna. You're just feeding those gut worms, Arna. I see you. I know what you're doing. And we're just going to keep hunting out on this tile because we're near out of food. I should probably change over the herbal. Well, next batch, we'll change over the herbal over to uh, to meat or whatever. Or uh, the veggies, rather. So 
So what I'm gonna do here is to add the the walls to the home zone, but not the not the floor pathing. I don't uh, I don't care about cleaning um, the wooden floor parts. And then this here, let's do a double airlock. So this will be a, I guess, a limestone door because I'm out of, um, that's not a door. A limestone door because I'm out of uh, granite. And then a quick open, actually it helps for a quick open door to be the close one. So something like that. And then if, if we have it stone like that, I don't even need to roof it. Not really. Jazium, thanks for the sub. Welcome. What about the apiary? Oh yeah, two little wall segments that we've built. Yeah, my, my builders had psychotic breaks in the middle of building, so there's a little bit of lag time between what needs to be done and what gets done. They're not the most productive, in other words. So the concept of this base, and we should leave these doors open as a result. The concept of this base is for someone to attack inside the base, they have to go all the way around. I am gonna make it easier for them to go around. Uh, I'm going to be digging out uh, quicker paths so they don't get frustrated with their long path to go around and um, just end up trying to attack in through the base. Uh, but what this means is, yeah, anyone, anyone looking to attack us, um, gets to get shot a lot on their uh, ingress. Which is really, really, really good. All right, so Wolu has... So now we have a, a path here that we can close if we need to. Uh, we'll continue the... Hi, Tusky, you're so cute. We can close those doors on demand. I should wall off a secure area for... Um, Sin here, even if it uh, makes it harder to grow said grass, um, it will be, and and to that point, possibly even uh, go so far as to build a tunnel so that there is not a situation where I can't get to the tree, uh, just the way I did on the other on the other map tile. So here's a door, and a wood door, and another door. That's a wall. See, brain is mush. Um, remove roof over everything so we don't actually try to cut the anima tree down. And then, um, we'll want, uh, actually, here's a really good way to power myself up. A geothermal jenny built in here. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, more limestone doors. And these limestone doors are going to be left open. Um, put a limestone door here. I'll take a look at that rare throw mode in a second. And then um, steel door, airlock for for transfer of, of zoning. Um, put one here and put one here. Uh, then these steel doors are going to require um, fire breaks. So... Here's some little fire bricks. And then we're good. It's a lot of building, but we're good. That's some forward thinking. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, we were trying to figure out, like, how are we going to power things, but there's a geothermal jenny. There's actually one right here, too. So, um... I'm going to build those last, but, um... But if there's geothermal power nearby, like, it does not make sense not to utilize it. And then we can have a uh, a proper Icelandic uh, base here. So, cool. There is also, uh, there's other, there's two geothermals over here, but they're just across the pond. They're a little bit harder to uh, utilize. I could build bridges and whatever, but I don't know. Enough projects at once. Uh, how is my apiary? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Edith. That's what I'm talking about, Edith.
Is there a river nearby? Uh, no, there's no running water. Um, you probably know this, but the only the only places that you get rivers are when there's rivers on the map tile, and you tend it happens rarely, but you but but you tend not to have um, mountainous uh, tiles that also have rivers. That's very 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 rare for map generation. So if you take a look at the river tiles here, there's not a single mountainous river on this entire in the entire world. Is whoa whoa Jesus. Uh, as far as I could tell. Yeah, there's not not a single one. Uh, all right, so red thrombos are... Nice. I'm actually not going to hunt them, because I want to do a, a group hunting effort. But the transport pod crash... None of business. What? 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 How is... <sighs> all right. All right. She's tribal. I think the mod changed it. So transport pod crashes generally don't land tribal people. But she's tribal. All right. Uh, that's cool. Let's rescue her and see if she joins us. If she chooses not to join us, uh, we can apply some um, encouragement techniques. I think we should call it. Yes, encouragement techniques. I'm also going to flagstone everything, the pat, the 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 common path out to the tree, uh, so we walk a little. Uh, oh, has recovered and decided to leave? No, you haven't, because. I'm holding you. Now, I don't think you're capable of making your own decisions right now. You don't seem to be... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you've not decided to leave. I'll, I'll arrest her if I need to, but that is possibly another character to add. Yeah, it is brutal trying to get through the tech tree starting his tribal. Absolutely. It is a daunting task, to be sure. Although Vikings aren't true tribals, they're half tribal. Um, they have not the same penalties as a full tribe. So if you look at the research here, um, research speed is... Okay, you've just told me that you've decided to leave twice, uh, but you're not capable of walking. So, someone is lying a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Another thing I could do here is um, forget these. Just have it, have it a little wider. Uh, is to lock down this entire section of land if we want to grow crop. Like that. So this whole thing will be internal to the base, uh, which means that this pathway is unusable. Uh, I will have to dig another path and uh, close this door. Would you kindly watch? Thanks for gifting out to Rochella. Give us scarves to cover our necks, you mean? It'd be smart. Ooh. What is going on? There must be quest generation. Uh, Fabled Grave. Oh, speaking of the Fabled Grave. So Fabled Graves are le the legendary graves. But um, let's put some Thrumbo into the grave. Okay, we do have a shooter coming in from the east or west. Got to be careful about that. Uh, one thing I've always been curious about is if you open with a frag grenade... What happens? Probably bad things. Run! <laughs> he doesn't realize. Because it's like a grenade. It I don't know. I, maybe it doesn't count as an attack. Oh, I missed the second one. Alright. Good. It's not the whole group. 
Mangalore the chicken is confused. So we do have a legendary, um, a legendary grave here. And I'll pull you all about whether I should do this or not. If I do it, I'm likely going to bring like a, um, an orbital weapon with me to finish it up. But I'll finish up the thrumbo first. Soul Ferrum, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. My mucking about as a Vike Vike. That's what we're called now, Vike Vikes. It's a terrible term for Vikings. That was short lived uh, combat music. Don't worry, there'll be more. And this will somewhat solve our hunger issue. Ooh, hit compacted machinery just, just by luck. Awesome. Stand your ground! Uh-oh, all the fine meals are going bye-bye. I should have run AC earlier, but I just hadn't. Uh, this is not good. Run! Yeah, we're gonna get nipped. Leave Edith behind! <laughs> I'm- I'm pretty used to this rat race now. Running from thrombos like I'm, uh... Like it's my job. All right, you're gonna have to open this door for me. Thank you. Never mind. All right. There's thrombos for dinner. Now I'm a little wary of making Ravager armor out of their stuff, cause. The Ravager armor has gotten me killed. Oh, good. We even let the boar that we uh, sacrificed to Skullheim uh, just to rot. Jolly good job, me. At least we're getting components out of the mountain. And... We are significantly changing the uh, the layout here. More Ambrosia Sprout. Uh, con deep concern now. I have deep concern. So for anyone that doesn't know why, uh, generally speaking, every time Freya the Storyteller gives me... Oops. Gives me something like a Ambrosia, um, she then tries to kill me. Like... Like, a lot. Uh, so every time there's like, oh, here's a little, here's a little bit of a plant gift. She is the killer of plants. It usually is toxic fallout or something like that. So we'll see. We'll see if, if that's the case this time. Nanya hasn't gone anywhere. About animal tree linking. Or anim animal. Animal. Animal tree linking, yes. Uh, so you are... What are you now? This is the last link. Oh, yeah. This is the last link. So, just a little reminder of the rules that we've set forth. I haven't actually updated the rule page, and I should do that. But we are only allowing two animal tree link people um, full, full stop and period. So only two of our Vikings will ever be animal linked. Uh, Psycasters. And 
Freya is about to hit six. If they die, they can be replaced. I guess that's a little complicated because if they die and they're replaced and then they get revived, I have more than two, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm not sure about that edge case scenario. Um, hey, J-Dog. Thanks for gifting us up to Soulfarm. All right, so Freya is becoming a max caster just like Sven. So this is this means that this colony has two casters and then Sin is going to become a third. Um, Sven is a neuroformer caster, whereas Freya and uh, Sin are not. So you learned Berserk Pulse. All right, so now that she's done with that, uh, her prayer point is going to be here. So we also had it so that um, our casters have... Uh, they've got morbid uh, requirements. So two casters that are morbid casters. So now her prayer spot is going to be the crypt. Uh, even though I don't know if that's as fast um, Psy cast gain as the... Oh, 88%? No, that's super fast. That's great. So she doesn't have to venture so far from the base anymore when uh, she's casting. The... This is almost done, which is good. Very, very close. Yeah, welcome to the community. And yeah, I can stop her from a 100% meditation schedule, which would be good because she's the best animal handler and a lot of our animals have um, lost their ability to rescue and stuff like that. And also uh, a lot of her pets, uh, a lot of her bees just have not been um, uh, harvested. Har harvest is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. They haven't been um, deep honeyed what do you do you just harvest honey I don't know I don't know whatever it doesn't really matter so uh we are going to break down what once was the old structure here Whoop, not that uh in lieu of a larger mead facility oh yes honey Freya you are just a genius Everybody else sucks at getting honey, and she walks in, and she's like, Ha! Stack of 75! And these 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 guys are just like, what? You honey comes out of these boxes? I thought I was just putting my hands in there for bee stings. It's like, no, no, you just suck at it. I'm removing the south wall to make it granite, so it matches. Because, well, I, I don't think I need a reason, right? If it didn't match... Uh, you would have every right to complain about my interior decorating. Rodamont, the in the Viking interior decorator. And the other one is ready to link. Uh, that would be Sins. Begin. Yursa's really been put to work. She's actually been incredibly helpful here. Um, we are going to start starving here, though. So, what I'm going to do is, uh... Hmm. I am indeed... Well, here. Um, should we use NPM at the outpost? So, nutrient paste meals means that we would not require a cook out here. Uh... I don't think nutrient paste is... Oh, no, no, it's, re it's researched. And it means that there'd be a little bit of a mood penalty for the food that we eat, but we wouldn't have um, food poisoning and we wouldn't require people to spend time cooking. Uh, the initial polls look positive. So... I'm going to set up an NPM, thinking that that might become what we do. Uh, but until then, until then, I am going to need to ship a little bit more meals because I don't want them to starve and become cranky and, and turn on one another. Um, so 10 more meals should be enough to get 
and PM out there. What I'm trying to do is, so let me share the larger picture so that you understand what's going on. What I'm attempting to do is to turn this entire island into a fortress, uh, a fortress of Viking solitude, into a fortress where it is hyper frozen on the inside to prevent infestations, which is why I separated out the roofed area from the not roofed area here. And uh, we will bring the temperature down to negative 25 C to stop infestations uh, so that we have a mountain base with no bugs. And then their bedroom here can be heated uh, because it is not part of the rest of the base. I probably need to put in an airlock uh, because without an airlock, uh, it will be harder to cool it. But that's that's sort of the concept here that I'm going for. And it's a, it's a rather large area to, to deep freeze, but uh, I'm down to try. Man, she has really ch uh, cut the mountain pretty good. So here's the nutrient paste. I built it because it looked like the poles were leaning towards yes, and they seem to be. So I'll put in the hoppers, whole bunch of hop. And you gained burden. Oh, well, burden's okay. Not my favorite, but it's fine. And we're, we're going to be making this entire um, area real nice. Real nice. Uh, so these nutrient pastes, I don't, the, the only problem is I don't, um, I don't really have access, ew, that should mean I'm not Duncan stop out. I don't really have access to, uh, to rich fields here. So if I zoom all the way out, as you can see, there's not significant, um, you know, there's this pocket of, uh, rich soil. There's not a lot of rich soil on this map. There's very, very, very little of it. So, uh, if I am to be growing, it's going to be a little tough because we're going to need grow lights, which means we're going to need geothermal. So, um, initially, I think what's going to happen here is that uh, this nutrient paste. Yeah, we're going to need a butcher table. And then what I'll do is a stockpile for food. Uh which this here, let me just copy my old food stockpile. So, wow, this one has so many holes in it because of all the jellies, I guess. Uh, copy and paste. And then into all the hoppers, we'll paste a higher priority. So what we're going to be doing here is, is uh, butchering for everything. You know, this is going to be very much a butcher kitchen uh, where we just stuff the hoppers full of meat. So we're going to have to hunt a lot. You're not great at playing Room World, but watching this has helped you a little. Yeah, I. so the series that I make, I like how she's not gotten up yet. Oh my god. You are just the best guest ever. Never interrupting me. So yeah, possibly in the future, I'm going to have um, game mechanics videos that really uh, go into depth about teaching how to play RimWorld. It would be up to my Patreon patrons to propose such projects, but I am would be totally happy to go deep diving into game mechanics and explain things that were somewhat arcane and lesser known. I'd be, you know, totally happy to do... Um, projects like that so so that would be up to my uh up to my patrons but i can see a situation where that gets asked of me um and yeah that'd be pretty cool it'd be helpful 
mid to end, end game stuff is tough. That's, um, I mean, when you consider RimWorld is a story generator where it gets ramped up more difficult uh, as time goes on, it's one of these games where uh, early on, it is far easier than later on. Later on, it gets harder and harder and harder. Um, oh, you know, I screwed up here. So I can't reach that cable. I have to break some, break some walls. The nutrient paste uh, uh, dispenser here. Ooh, we have a pillaging raid. Oh, wow. That's a lot of raiders. So I was gonna originally pull you if I'm gonna go to the legendary grave, but we have um, near 90 people coming to pillage. So if you're wondering about the pillager raid, the pillager raid is added into the Vikings. The pillager raid just wants to burn everything down. They don't really care about stuff. They just want to watch the world burn. Uh, here, Nichols, you, all my animals. Well, let's see what I gotta do. Carnivores stay inside, omnivores stay inside, carnivores stay inside. Uh, Nichols, you stay close. Everybody else, come out. Uh, who is closest? Okay, yeah, we have some people that are closer than others. So these pillagers here are just going to wail on my farm until there's nothing left of the farm. They're not really interested in, like, doing fighting me. They just want to watch the world burn. The thing is, I am very capable at making sure that the world doesn't burn um but this farm is this farm is um is is just just a goner uh is the nicest thing i can say about it is that farm is done okay i queued up some work over there um, let me see. What else can I do? I'm trying to queue things up so that I can ignore, um, uh, I can ignore my outpost for a bit so I can focus on the fight. Just give me one second. setting up the butchery, setting up the uh, the food stockpiles. Okay, I think we're all set. Let battle be joined. 11 versus 89. Except for you're on my team now. Yep. Oh, you're stealing my heaters? Man, that is such a jerk thing to do. Hey, Nichols, you want to do something fun? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I see you. I just don't go that way. Freya, hurry up. Oh, there's a stupid tree here. Look at them go. What little jerks. Alright, walk. Down. Oh, not got stuck. Well, guess what? No, you didn't. Jump! Oh, don't be stunned. Oh, this is their wolf hound. Uh, so you lost a toe, I think? Yep. Alright, Freya, you're going to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No pun intended there. Nichols! Time to have some fun. Alright, 
not uh, Nichols is gonna need some uh, some backup. Scarred and Naz, can you get the wolf hound off of me? So she's a fast walker. I am taking considerable risk for her. Uh, Freya, you're, let's get you back to cover and join me out here. Okay, you little jerks. Yes! Here we go! Oh, uh, well, all right, you, an attempt was made. Still, I appreciated it. Uh, all right, let's regroup. Nichols, get inside. Bye-bye, farm. You were a nice farm while you existed. Of Boomerang Clan? No, you're of the Bear Clan. What do you, you don't even know where you came from, dude? Get out of here. Oh, they're coming to rescue their own. All right, you guys are still working? Yep. Uh, not you could um, go safe. Be safe. Freya, you ready to drop some craze on them? So, as you can see, they're more interested in pillaging than anything else, but... Brawl for me! Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be crazy. Alright, let's, uh, start chopping them up. No mercy, zero, zero mercy here. Freya's gonna wait, but now they're all murdering each other. They're true pillagers. Oh, look at this. I am just reaping. Oh, hi, Nordman. Getting a little spicy hot for you? Hey, you. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. All right, they're all dead. Let's go and get the rest. Shooters pull up. Uh, I just not... Oh, okay. Yeah. Brawlers back up. Sorry, Ari. Oh, you lost an eye. Well, Odin's son, I'm gonna get your eye back. Her Odin daughter. Uh, well, whatever. I can't do that yet. All right, they are fleeing. Triple launcher was fun. Uh, schedule. All I what I could do is I could check them for uh, recruitables. Nope. Mm, no. Planter. I don't know. How fast are you dead? Five hours? Maybe. No. What about you? Underground or jogger who's good at construction and mining? Yes. Mm, how's your health, though? Mm, yes. You are a trauma savant? <laughs> I made him a trauma savant with a shock lance. Boom! <laughs> uh, trigger happy, 
Fast walker, greedy. Oh, and a crafter? Did the lover survive? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, do, 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 do. Lover of Gaida? Let's... So the easiest way to do this is to go to Gaida, go to social. Oh, Green Advark is the lover. This, uh, this person I was considering rescuing. So, Gaida, go rescue your lover. Um... Thank you all for watching episode 73 of The Blades of Ragnarok, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that there's three hours left to air of this stream. If you'd like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has all the information you need. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.